Hello, welcome to continuation of dynamic mechanics still on connected bodies. So this episode is drawing a connection between episode 46 to 47. Yeah, through 47 to 48. This is episode 48. So a particle A of mass, 400 gram, rests on a rough horizontal table and is connected by a light inextensible string which passes over a smooth pulley at the edge of the table to a, part a particle B of mass 600 gram hanging vertically yeah hanging vertically if the string is initially what taut meaning stretch and at a right angle to the edge of the table and the total resistance to the motion is 0.88 newtons by drawing a diagram of the system we have to find the acceleration of the particle the tension in the string i think the question has taken the better part of the board but after making a diagram where we represent all the informations then we can clear here and continue so by diagram let's see we have this is our rough horizontal or surface. We are having a body, which is the first body hanging in here, affected by a resistance of 0.88 Newton. Resistance simply means the frictional force. Then we are having a pulley. So let's say the pulley is at the end of it. So this is hanging with a tension in it then we have the body V also hanging in here good so there is going to be a weight of the body one and there is going to be normal reaction friction there is going to be a tension which is moving in the opposite direction so this is a tension as you have an acceleration and I should also have acceleration. These accelerations are common to the first body and the second body. The tensions are also common. This is going to be the weight of the body B, which is going to be the, the mass of the body times its acceleration due to gravity. And uh, if we are looking for the mass of the second body is uh, 600 gram, not kilogram. So you convert it to uh, gram. So let's see uh, how will I do it. Mass of particle A is going to be M1. So that is going to be 400 gram. When we convert that, it gives you what? 0 0.4 kg. Then we also need to find the mass of what? The particle B, which is uh, the 600, right? So this is the 600. So let's clear here and continue. So here we can also find the mass of for particle B as what? M2, which is 600 gram, become 0 0.6 what? kg. So here we are multiplying 0 0.6 kg by what the force of gravity and that will give you 5.88 uh, newton so that is what we are having so let's see how we can resolve uh, the forces so let's say for particle a or let's take it directly as what equation of motion Let's see, for particle A, what would be the equation of motion? Remember, this is just the resolving of force. We are not asked to find the normal reaction in there. So we focus on the equation. Where this is moving, there will be a resistance. So there should be uh, the difference between the resistance and that of the tension should be equal to the force that is applied to pull it. So this is going to be tension 
minus the force. So let me just say tension minus 0 0.88 equals to the mass times what? The acceleration. And this mass is 1. But this mass, we have it here as well, 0 0.4. So I have T minus 0 0.88 equals 0 0.4A. Let me just say this is what? Friction. I wanted to use that space, but let's see. So here, tension and acceleration is unknown. So I can only move for the particle B. We are also going to look at the movement. The acceleration is going down. As it is moving down, we are going to take the, the mass, how do you call it, the, the weight minus the tension equals the force applied. So I'm going to have M2 this minus the tension equals to M this. So let's do substitution. This is the 0 0.6 by that. will give you 5.88 tension equals to 0. 6 word A. This is the first equation. The second equation. Maybe this episode is a little bit fast because we have already laid the foundation in episode 46 and 47. So here we are solving equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously to find the common acceleration and that of the common tension. So if we are to solve these two equations, I can see tension being positive here and negative here. Therefore, I can see equation 1 plus equation what? 2. If I add the two equations, you can see negative, positive and negative will be eliminated. So I should be having this plus this as in terms of subtraction, I should have 5 equals 2. Where are we going to move? This plus this also will give you what? A. That is 1A. So that means that the acceleration, the first part of the question is, is it A or I? The acceleration is going to be 5 meter per word, second square. So we can conclude that the acceleration is going to be 5 meter per second square. Now that we know the acceleration, what do we need? We need to find the tension also. So here, Roman number 2, put A equals to 5 into equation 1. It could be any of the equations. I'm picking equation 1, meaning T minus 0 0.88 equals to 0 0.4 times what? 5. Let's see if you multiply 0 0.4 by 5, that will give you 2. So t minus 0 0.88 equals what? 2. This must go the right. 2 plus 0 0.88 make t to be 2.88. So therefore, the tension in the string is going to be 2.88. Newton. Then the acceleration is what? 5 meter per second square. I guess you are able to uh, get the understanding of the concept which we have laid the foundation in episode 46, 47 and uh, in this episode. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe.